very much. And now moving on to Mr. Huaristi for one minute. Senor President. Thank you, President. While we're speaking here, Cavani is resisting with the very few means at its disposal. It's only unified uh, response of the Kurdish forces, which is avoiding another uh, massacre of the sort that we've seen in the summer. And it's the Kurdish people that needs to be able to count on the necessary means in order to be able to resist and to win, given the, uh, th the threat represented by the IS and given the, uh, the, the, the uh, attitude of the states that ISIS is occup occupying. And we've also got to take into account the approach of the European Union, but the powers, NATO, the EU, they don't act in order to protect the Kurdish people. All they, 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 all, all they try to do is respond to a situation which is out of control, but it's out of control because of the consequence of its own policies in the Middle, Middle East. We don't have the, the necessary strategic policy. So what's at stake here are, is the right and the future of the Kurdish people, rights which are being trampled underfoot and have been for decades, and we have just sat, sat by and watched internationally in, in Europe, we've just watched and twiddled our thumbs and, and this, is, this is what's at stake at the end of the day thank you Gracias. thank you